don't. <laughs> For the bright side of branding, business, and being your own boss. Hey boss, it's Sunny Leonard Easy. Welcome to The Sunny Show for the bright side of branding, business, and being your own boss. And there are two keys to being your own boss. Never stop learning and learn from the best. So today we're gonna to talk about how to find the right mentor for your business. I've been really fortunate over the years to have really great mentors in guiding me in my business in all aspects of my career. So basically I'm gonna be your mentor for finding your mentor for you <laughs> moving forward. So I have three steps to finding the right mentor for you. So step number one is learning the amount of accessibility that you have to your mentor. So when you're first starting out in your career, it's okay to just have virtual mentors. I can be one of them. There are a ton of people out there who are offering so much value and so much free content that you can just study and be a sponge and soak up when you're at a level in your business where you're not at a place where you can fully and wholeheartedly invest in a mentor on a bigger scale. So when you're looking for a mentor for your business, you wanna ask who is the best in your industry and what can you learn from them? So literally study them and study how their business operates, what they're doing differently, what makes them unique, and figure out what things that you can start to apply to your business. I am not saying to mimic them or imitate them, but they are obviously doing something right if they're at the top of their game. So see what they're doing right and see how you can make it your own. So when you're first starting out, it's fully okay to just have virtual mentors. I still have virtual mentors I've never met, but they teach me new things every week through podcasts, videos, blog posts that I just soak up all the time. So find those virtual mentors first. When you get a little more advanced in your career, you'll have much more leverage to work, work and reach out to the people who are the best of the best in your industry, but do understand that when you do get to that place, because these experts are so in demand, there may be a fee attached to working with mentors. And that's okay because it's a huge investment in your business. And if you're working with the right mentor, it's going to 10X, 20X, 50X the growth of your business. So it's one of the best investments that you can make. Step number two is generosity. What is the level of generosity of the mentor that you're hoping to work with either virtually um, just by following their resources or work with them one-on-one? -on -one? So the best mentors in the world love teaching. They love being the expert. So they want to give you their information and their resources and they want to help you in any way they can. And they understand that your success is their success. The better of a mentor they are, the more success you're going to have. So the level of generosity is a really good clue as to how good of a teacher and a mentor this person's gonna be. Because there's a lot of experts in the world, it doesn't mean that they're great teachers and that they can actually reverse engineer their success and give you that information. So you wanna look for any kind of content that they put out there, their teaching style, perhaps they're on YouTube, Take a look at if you relate to how they teach, if you understand the information they're delivering and if it's easy to digest. That's a really good clue as to how good of a mentor this person is going to be. But I want you to remember that the more generous this mentor is, the more they believe that generosity is abundance, which is something that I wholeheartedly believe. And they're not gonna be stingy with their resources. If someone is really stingy and doesn't wanna give you information or doesn't wanna give you um, their resources or things that they've learned along the journey, kind of a good clue that they're probably not the right mentor for you. Of course, there's things that are proprietary and things that people can't give away, but for the most part, a mentor is happy to guide you on your success because they've already achieved great success on their own. And just as a quick tip on that, most people in the world are pretty accessible. So if there's someone who you want to mentor you, don't necessarily dive in and ask them to be your mentor, but First and foremost, just ask them for maybe a quick tip or a resource, and you can do that on social media. And if they get back to you, again, great clue of how generous they are with their information and how much value they can actually add to you and your business. Step number three is the most important, credibility. Is this person actually as good as they say they are? And do their morals and values align with yours? Because unfortunately, not all that glitters is gold and a lot of it is just gold covered bullshit. So you have to really do your research and I call this the triple check 
method. So what you're gonna do is you're going to research this mentor, Google search them, look for any possible negative reviews, and also check out any testimonials of customers or students or people they've mentored before on their website or on any social platform. And then the, se the second step of this triple check is to research those testimonials. So go and do a deep dive on these people that have been mentored by this person before and what are their results. And the third part of the triple check is ask for specific results. You want to know exactly what these people got out of working with this person and exactly how it benefited the business. Because vague statements or encouragement or inspiration are great, but that's not actually going to help you build a thriving business. So make sure that the person that you're looking at is credible. Just because someone is standing in front of the Eiffel Tower or they are standing in front of a Porsche doesn't mean that it's real. Things can look really shiny, but it doesn't mean that it's actually a credible source for you to work with or invest in. And you need to be making smart investments as an entrepreneur and as a business owner. So credibility is everything. As my dad says, credibility is like virginity. Once you lose it, you can't get it back. So make sure you do your research before you invest in a mentor. If you're looking for mentorship, make sure that you join thousands of entrepreneurs in the Be Your Own Boss Mastermind group. It is completely free, it's on Facebook, and it's such a supportive place when you are growing your business on your own terms. So make sure you join us there, and if you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.